Code of Professional Ethics for Cybersecurity Professionals. The Code of Ethics of Cybersecurity Professionals basically comprises of the do's and don'ts of a cybersecurity professional. But for the purpose of our lesson, we will only highlight on five key code of ethics of a cybersecurity professional. First on our list is the observance, the maintenance, and the enforcement of the goals of cybersecurity. That is, the goal of confidentiality, the goal of integrity, and the goal of availability, all of which we covered in lesson 9. This particular code of ethics means that, as a cybersecurity professional, you ought to maintain the privacy, the integrity, availability, and confidentiality of information and data in your cyberspace, unless a disclosure is required by a legal authority. Another code of ethics that all cybersecurity professionals ought to observe is the performance of their duties with objectivity, due diligence, and professionalism. As a cybersecurity professional, the services you provide must be diligent in meeting the objectivity of your employer. That is the standards, the purpose, mission and vision of the institution you are working with or working for. Meaning the services you provide must be in the interest of the stakeholders in a lawful manner while maintaining a high standard of conduct and character. Note that cybersecurity professionalism can easily be achieved that is if you inculcate the disciplinary lifestyle of a soldier. The third cybersecurity professional code of ethics on our list is the enforcement and the observance of all cybersecurity related policy framework and compliance with the appropriate standards and procedures for the effective governance, management, and the security of cyber systems. This code of ethics demands all cybersecurity professionals to implement and to enforce all cybersecurity policy framework and compliance relating to system audit, controls, system security, and risk management. On this note, let me remind you that we will dig into details all the various forms of cybersecurity policy framework and compliance in the next model, which is the model 2 of this cybersecurity masterclass with Commander Ayam. Living an exemplary cybersecurity lifestyle is a must observe cybersecurity professional code of ethics. Being vulnerable to cybersecurity threats, vulnerabilities, and cybersecurity adversaries as a cybersecurity professional means that all cyber devices under your domain or under your control are equally prone to the same cybersecurity threats, vulnerabilities, and cyber adversaries attacking you as a cybersecurity professional. Another reason why you as a cybersecurity professional ought to live a conscious cybersecurity lifestyle is due to the fact that you as a cybersecurity professional is equally a target doing a cyber adversary reconnaissance. On this note, let me caution you about the taking of pictures and selfies when around cyber systems. Many hacking happening in most cyberspace is due to the careless lifestyle of many cybersecurity professionals. So for this reason, bear it in mind that you as a cybersecurity professional is equally a cybersecurity control to your cyber systems. So protect yourself by living a conscious cybersecurity lifestyle and be mindful of the kind of pictures you take, what you write or share on your social media platforms. The last code of ethics for cybersecurity professionals on our list is the observance of chain of command in terms of information access. This code of ethics demands all cybersecurity professionals to strictly relate information to only authorized parties. Information like reports of work performed, significant facts when not disclosed may distort cyber systems, the operational cyberspace, and the business operations. So, as a cybersecurity professional, you ought to know who and the type of information to allow access to. So, it's very important to know the structure of data ownership and its management. But in order to observe and to identify the chain of command in terms of information access, you as a cybersecurity professional must know the structure of data ownership and its management, which will be the next and our last lesson of Model 1. See you in Lesson 11.